Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. An adventurous young boy, at school with his friends, they have a strange reaction when it comes to girls in their school. They will vomit if they touch or talk to women. He spends most of his free time exploring the city on a scooter. His daily exploits are followed and encouraged by the friendly concierge at his building. He lives in Manhattan with his two parents who are on the verge of divorcing. He realized that a genuine love life was what his parents were going through. Eventually, this young boy meets an 11-year-old girl in his grade, who he's known since kindergarten. After being partnered with her for sparring and self-defense class, he suddenly notices her as a girl, not another face. He follows the activities of women he likes to find party clothes. The young boy was amazed when he saw the beauty of the woman wearing a pink dress. She will wear the dress for her aunt's wedding. He also trained in Taekwondo together to earn a yellow belt. They talk together to repay their friend's behavior with their strength from learning Taekwondo. The boy remembers the incident about the bully that hurt him. This video is sponsored by QD. QD is Asia's largest platform for students, tutors, and coaches to find and book lessons online or offline, all from a single platform. Sign up at QD today. The boy returns home and faces the reality that his parents have to divorce. However, he got up and realized that happiness is not the responsibility of his parents. He uses the phone book to look up the number of the girl he likes, but gets the wrong number. He waited for the girl he liked in front of the building to get out of the building. To young girl's elation, they begin spending time together. He is completely enamored with not only her, but her life. He takes her on a tour through Central Park. After returning home, he began to behave strangely by practicing martial arts continuously. Become a boy who wants to look cool. He also cut his hair to look cooler in front of the girl he likes. He even picked up the woman to take her to his house and introduce her to his parents. They venture for fun across the city and use their self-defense skills to fight a bully and try to inspect an apartment for rent. Worrying his nervous parents, one day while out for a walk, they encounter a bully and fight them off with their Taekwondo skills. He discovers that the girl is soon leaving for camp for six weeks and won't be back until summer's end and her parents are planning to enroll her in a private school. She lives with her loving upper-class parents on the edge of Central Park. The girl's parents take him and the girl to hear a jazz pianist at the Carlisle, where the young twosome finally hold hands. After the show, the girl's parents tell them to say goodnight and her parents go to get milk. After the parents leave, he and the girl begin talking, and he interrupts her by kissing her. The girl's family's life is in contrast to the boy's. He lives with his soon-to-be divorcing parents, who have declared an awkward truce while waiting for their divorce to be finalized. As their relationship progresses, the girl begins to question what is happening to him and why he is falling in love with her. When things seem to be going perfectly, the boy's world is suddenly turned upside down when he and the girl are assigned new sparring partners. The boy is instantly jealous of the girl's new partner, a taller blonde boy, who's much better at self-defense than he is, with their remaining time running out. The guy tries to move closer to the girl, but only drives her away, in a desperate move to win the girl back. He attempts to show off for the girl to get his yellow belt, but painfully fractures his hand in the process. Being crushed with what love really is, he learns from his father that the parents' marriage fell apart because of things left unsaid. Realizing he is out of time, the boy goes to find the girl. He interrupts her during the wedding reception she is attending and declares his love. Taken aback, the girl replies she doesn't think she's ready for love, but is really happy to see him. She asks for a dance and the boy agrees. As they dance, he muses that he and the girl were on different paths, like two ships that passed in Sheep Meadow. He returns home to find his parents laughing over their honeymoon recollections. The boy is pleased and surprised when his father says he cleared out some old stuff and his parents appear to have reconciled. They happily go out for dinner. And as the movie ends, he narrates, summarizes what the girl meant to him. I'm never gonna get another first love. That one's always gonna be her. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.